Today I'm going to give you a basic tutorial on how to configure Cisco 1140 series access point. The one in the demonstration I'm using is an 1141 access point. Uh, the uh, differences between the uh, series, the 1141 has one radio interface, 2.4 GHz, and 1142 has 2.4 and 5 GHz interfaces. Okay, so let's get straight into it. So it's basic command line, Cisco IS, as you've seen before, switches, routers, it's it's very, very, very similar. So enable, default password is Cisco with a capital C, configuration terminal, and we're there. So first of all, we're going to secure the access point. We're going to go into our line, VTY04, so 5 vt ones like routers, and then we're going to lo log in local database, and line console 0, and we're going to use the local database again. Okay, so let's create some local users. Username admin privilege level 15 because that's the highest level. We want them to have the highest level. Password, password. Okay, so we've got a local user named admin uh, with a password of password. Okay, so next let's rename our access point host name. So as you've seen before, we're just going to call it test AP, test access point. Okay, so let's move on to the wireless configuration. So to do this, we have to enter the SID configuration mode, which is the command dot eleven SSID, and then your SSID name, which we're going to call it test for now. And we're going to enter the command authentication open to get things running. Don't worry, that doesn't mean it's going to be an open network. All key WPA version two. That's the abbreviated version of those commands. Doesn't matter. Just enter it, and then configure the pre-shared key for the WPA. And we're just going to call it one. We're just going to give it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Needs a minimum of eight characters. Okay, and then to broadcast the network, we're going to enter the guest mode command. Okay, so we exit out of that. Now we're going to apply the the SID to our interface. So int dot eleven radio zero. It's a two point four gigahertz interface. We're going to enter the command encryption mode ciphers AES. That basically tells the interface to encrypt the traffic with AES encryption method. And then we're going to enter our SID, which is test. Test it. Okay, and then channel, you can use either 1, 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, or you can enter the frequencies, if you know them. I don't suppose you will, but we're going to use channel 1 for now, and we're going to enter the no shutdown command to bring our dot eleven radio interface out of shutdown, administry shutdown, there you go, it's up, okay, so let's get rid of that, let's get out of that, okay, so if you wanted to manage your access point, you would do so by uh, entering the IP address, of course, and to configure the IP address, you go into the bridge interface. So IP address, same as what you've seen before, 1, 2, 1, 10, 2, 5, 5, 2, 5, 5, 6, 0, description, test, man, interface. Okay, and then we're going to enter the command IP default gateway, 192.168.1.1. So, our, our access point now has IP properties, and it now has a seed configured. I hope you found this video informative. Please stay tuned for more advanced Cisco Access Point videos. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about multiple multiple broadcast sets. Thank you for watching.